everyone. So for our first problem, we have y is equals to cosine 2 x plus pi over 2 plus 2. So first, we will figure out our given. So our a is equals to 1, our b is equals to 2, and our c is equals to negative pi over 2. Since we have positive pi over 2 right here, we will change our sign to negative. So we will have c is equals to negative pi over 2, and our d is equals to 2. So for our period, we have e is equal to 2 pi over the absolute value of b. So we will use this and substitute our b with 2 right here. So therefore, we will have 2 pi over 2. And with this, we can figure out our x from x sub 1 to our x sub 5. So for our x sub 1, we will always have 0. So right there. And our x sub 2, we will use t over 4 and substitute t with our t right here and since we have 2 pi over 2 we will cancel our 2 right here and the remaining is pi therefore we will have x sub 2 is equal to pi over 4 and our x sub 3 we have 2 over a t over 2 so again we will substitute and therefore we will have x sub 3 is equal to pi over 2 and for our x sub 4 we have 3 t over 4 and substitute again so we will have 3 pi over 4 right here. And for our x sub 5, we, we only have t. So therefore, we have x sub 5 is equal to pi. Next, with this, we can have our table right here and substitute our x with all of these values and use our unit circle right here, our circle, circle right here to determine our y. So let's try to solve 1, uh, 1 only. So we have pi over 4. Let's try pi over 4 right here. And, okay, so y is equal to cosine 2x plus pi plus 2. So let's substitute our x with pi over 4. So we have cosine 2 substitute by pi over 4 plus pi plus 2. So we, we have now cosine. We have to multiply 2 with our pi over 4. So we'll have pi over 2 plus pi plus 2. And we will add our pi over 2 with our pi right here. So therefore, we will have... 3 pi over 2 plus 2. Now we will determine what cosine 3 pi over 2 is with our circle right here. So here we have 3 pi over 2 which is equals to 0. Therefore we have 0 plus 2 so we have y is equals to 2. Now we will graph. Since we have y is equals to 2 right here, oh, first we have to check if it is right. So it is right. Our pi over 4 is equal to 2. So now we will go on with our graph. So let's check if our graph right here is right or correct. So let's figure it out. Our x0 is equal to y1. So let's try to see if it is right. So here we have x0 and y1. So therefore, it is right. And let's go on with our pi over 4. Approximately, it will be right around here. So if you want to be really sure with your graph, you can graph on your own or you can use Desmos app. Going on, continue. Let's continue with pi over 2. We have 3 right here. So maybe it is right around here. And for our 3 pi over 2, we have 2. So maybe it, it, it is right here. And for our pi, we have pi right here. So 1, this is right, everybody. So that's all. Moving on with our problem number two. So hi, everyone. For our second circular function, we have y equals 3 cosine x. So for the given, we have a is equal to 3, b is equal to 1, and then as you can see here in our function, we don't have the value of c and d. So c and d is equal to 0. So for the period, we have the following formula. t is equal to 2 pi over the absolute value of b. So t is equal to 2 pi over 1 or simply 2 pi. So now we are going to solve for the value of x. So x sub 1 is equal to 0. x sub 2 is equal to t over 4. So we will just going to substitute the value of t over here. So x sub 2 is equal to pi over 2. So for the x sub 3, we have t over 2. We're going to substitute. So we have x sub 3 is equal to pi. So for the x sub 4, we have 3t over 4. Substitute. Then 
simplify. So we have x sub 4 x equal to 3 pi over 2. So for the x sub 5 is equal to t. So we were just going to substitute it. So x sub 5 is equal to 2 pi. So here we have our table of values. So to find the value of y, we were just going to substitute the value of x to the function. So we were just going to try this column. y equals 3 cosine x. So y equals 3 cosine pi. So the value of cosine pi in the unit circle table of values is negative 1. So y equals 3 times negative 1. So the answer would be negative 3. So in the graph, we can see 0, then 3. Then pi over 2, it is over here, is 0. And then pi, negative 3. And pi 3 over pi two, over 2. It is over here, 0. And then 2 pi is equal to 3. So, for our example number 3, we have y is equal to 2 cos x plus 1. So, for the given, we have amplitude is equal to 2, frequency is equal to 1, phase shift is equal to 0, and the vertical shift is equal to 1. So, we have the period, which is t is equal to 2 pi over b, which is the frequency, and t is equal to 2 pi because 2 pi over 1 is equal to 2 pi. So to find the x value, we have x sub 1 is equal to 0. x sub 2 is equal to t over 4, which is our t is equal to 2 pi. So 2 pi over 4 is equal to pi over 2. We have x sub 3 is equal to t over 2 is equal to pi. x sub 4 is equal to 3t over 4. So 3 times 2 pi is equal to 6 pi over 4. So, 6 pi over 4 is equal to 3 pi over 2. So, the x sub 5 is equal to t, which is 2 pi. So, we can see here our table. So, 0 pi over 2 pi. 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So to find the y value, you can just substitute uh, the x value here. For example, uh, at x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 2 cos x plus 1. At y is equal to 2 cos 0 here plus 1. So, y is equal to 1 because cos 0 is equal to 1 plus 1. So, y is equal to 2 plus 1. y is equal to 3. So, the graph you can see that 3 is here. So, pi over 2 is uh, somewhere or anywhere here. Yes, and the pi over uh, is here pi negative 1 and uh, 3 pi over 2 is somewhere uh, here yes and uh, 2 pi is here Thank you for watching our video guys, I hope you like it and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing videos. Thank you.